JFT, just fair and direct. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to JFT's daily market review for November the 20th. I am Harlambos Pissuros, Senior Market Analyst here at JFT, and I will talk about yesterday's main market movers, what's my opinion moving ahead, what are today's important events and how they could affect the markets. But before we start, let's read our disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds to read the rest and then we will jump into our analysis. Okay, the US dollar continued to trade lower against all but two of the other G10 currencies on Thursday and during the Asian morning Friday. It lost the most ground versus NOC, the Euro, the Pound and the Kiwi, while it was found virtually unchanged against the Aussie and the Yen. The weakening of the, sa of the safe havens dollar and Yen suggests that markets traded in a risk-on fashion yesterday, however the weakening of the risk-linked Aussie points otherwise. Thus, in order to get a clearer picture with regards to the broader market sentiment, we prefer to turn our gaze to the equity world. Here, major EU indices were a sea of red, but appetite improved during the US session, with all uh, three of Wall Street's uh, main indices ending their trading in positive territory, perhaps uh, following headlines that Senate Democratic Minority Leader Chuck uh, Schumer said uh, Republican Majority Leader uh, Majority Leader Mitch McConnell had agreed to resume talks over a new fiscal relief uh, package. That said, the joy did not last for long. After the closing uh, bell, US futures slid, while during the Asian session today, sentiment was softer as US Treasury Secretary Stephen Mnuchin said uh, that he was ending emergency loan programs adopted by, by the Fed. All this has hurt investors' faith that both the US government and the central bank will do whatever it takes to support an economy severely damaged by lockdown measures due to the coronavirus pandemic. Now it remains to be seen whether the Fed will find other ways to stimulate the economy and whether any measures will be adopted in uh, December. Nonetheless, even if market sentiment stays subdued for a while more due to reduced hopes over an economic recovery, and due to the fact that the coronavirus continues to spread at a fast pace, the, opti the optimistic developments uh, around the vaccine combined with the Biden presidency may keep any setback, uh, may keep any setback limited and short-lived. As we noted yesterday, we will uh, treat them as corrective moves. We expect the prevailing uptrends to eventually resume at some point in the not too distant future. As uh, for today's events, during the early European morning, we already got the UK retail sales for October. Both the headline and core sales uh, and core rates uh, slid uh, somewhat, but uh, much uh, less than the forecast uh, suggested. Once again, the pound did not react, confirming the notion that GBP traders have uh, their gaze locked on developments surrounding the Brexit landscape rather than uh, on economic data. We get more retail sales data later in the day, this time from Canada. Both headline and core sales are expected to have slowed to 0.2% month over month from 0.4 and 0.5% respectively. As for the speakers, we have three on today's agenda, and those are ECB, Pre ECB President Christine Lagarde, ECB Governing Council Member Jens Wittmann, and Dallas uh, Fed President Robert Kaplan. So that's it uh, from me. Thank you very much for watching and listening. For those who are interested in learning about the main events of the week much earlier, you can subscribe to the Weekly Market Outlook webinar, which I'm holding every Monday at 8 o'clock AM GMT. You can find the link in the description below. So goodbye, have a great day, a greater weekend, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again next week. JFT, just fair and direct.